Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel and hi if you're new, my name is Sophie, I am an international flight attendant and today I will be showing you how I style my hair for work. I've also decided to put my wash day routine in there as well because I think that does play a big part in how my hair looks. So I wash and style it in a certain way so that it's easier to put up for work. If you are interested in how I style my hair for work, then keep watching. Let's drink up your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that orphan gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we I'm not gonna lie to you, it is the next day. So yesterday I finished drying my hair and then I started getting ready for work. Today it is 11.11, .11. make a wish. And I have a flight, I'm going to Lebanon, in Beirut to be specific. So I thought I'd finish the video off by showing you how I tie it up because that is one of the many questions I get asked a lot. I don't know how, why it's just just is <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I do that but before that I realized I never actually showed you the products I used yesterday so shampoo and conditioner I use the Maui moisture kill quench ones I swear by this it's the best one I found in Dubai that I can get my hands on quite easily so I live by it the only downside I will say is the conditioner is very thick maybe a little bit too thick for my hair but I only use a little bit of it, so it's fine. And then leave-in, I use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk leave-in. I only spray it, you would have seen like on this section. Don't touch this section. And then for styler, because it is Dubai and humid is real, I use mousse at the minute. I'm using the Shockwave. And I use it in the volume five hold mousse. There is one specifically for curls, but I just find this one better, especially with the humidity and having to tie it up for work, it definitely helps. They're the products I use. And then to tie it up, I have a, a uh, yeah, a very disgusting pot of hair clips. It's a shot glass. It just lives in my drawer. I have that. I have a hair net. I have my scrunchie and I need an elastic. Where is my elastic? And an elastic. Everything has hair on it. <laughs> well, obviously. Okay, so to start off with, we lay out a lot of hair clips. So by Imaging Uniform Standards with the company I work for, you can only have six hair clips visible. I use a lot more than that, but you don't see them. So it's fine. So to start off with, this is like the, the most unflattening angle. But I take like like a half up section, very roughly. So it's like the top section. Fix this bit so it goes that way. Try and make it look as neat as possible. And then I'll pin that to my head like there. Hope that makes sense. So it looks something like this. It's a, it'll be messy. We fix it, don't worry. But I just find if I do this, it takes the weight out of my ponytail because I have a lot of hair, it's very thick and it's very heavy. So after a while, it does get heavy and because I 
I have to wear it quite low, it like pulls your head. So if you ever notice, whenever I have my hair up, I always have it like on top of my head, because it's less weight getting pulled. So yeah, that's why I do like the half up thing. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just holding the weight. And then I'll take the elastic and I'll grab the last, the, the other section. And I will put this in a ponytail of where I want it to be, which is ideally just underneath. This is so hard to show you. Underneath the clips. And I don't do it too tight. I've learned this the hard way. And then what I'll do is I'll hold that in place with more bobby pins. So you'll have the hair tie in between the bobby pin and I'll cross them over and that'll just hold the elastic and ponytail in place. So it looks something like this right now. It is a mess, but we fix it, it's fine. But, and then see these bits. We just take more clips. And before you do your, your donut, I'll pin these bits in place because everything here is about to get hidden by here. Let me fix this top section so it doesn't look as messy and I'll get back to you. So this is what we are working with at the moment. I still have my hair down, but I use the Got To Be Glued Hairspray. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you know this is my save and glory. It's the best thing I've ever found. I've tried different ones. This one is always the best. So I'll just spray the top section and push away any little hairs. And I run it over with my hand to try and push away those baby hairs that nobody likes. So I push all the hairs that are like sticking out to the back where those clips are again. Because it's going to get hidden. And that is the time right now. So I take some more bobby pins. I don't use like anything special, I just use like regular bobby pins. It works for me. And I, I'm going to try to show you this this way. I hope this works. I take my ponytail and I twist it around. So it looks something like that. And then I'll put bobby pins in. This does not have to look the nicest. That is what the hairnet's for. <laughs> there is nothing worse, and I will say this for the people at the back, than when you have a, a donut or a bun and it's fallen off your head. I don't think it looks nice at all in the slightest. So please don't do that. I see many, many a people have it. Hairnet. I go through too many of these because I stick my finger through it, I'll stick a bobby pin through it, I'll just not be as gentle when I'm taking it off. But yeah, I go round the donut bun, get all the little spiky bits that are sticking out, twist it round twice, so like a figure of eight, so I'll go round it, twist it back. Make sure that's all in, yep. It's all just like a, a feeling game. I took my ear away. <laughs> That's one of my uh, things. I don't like my ears showing. And these masks are killing me because I have to have my ears showing because it's impossible to get it to, oh, that went in my ear, to stay where I want it. So with the hairspray, I mainly focus on my baby hairs here and here because those ones don't like staying down but yeah that is literally how i do my hair it takes no time at all it's very simple i do love having it in a french twist which i, I do basically the same as well i do the half up thing so i'll pin half of it up and then the bottom half i will just twist it and then pin it but i can only do that when my hair is short because my hair is too heavy so the clips don't hold it so yeah that's why i don't have it in a french twist anymore but yeah that is it that is my curly hair routine hair style for work i don't really know what i'm going to call this yet but i thought i'd film it get it out so everyone asking now knows how 
I do my hair for work because it is one of the top questions I get asked. So do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.